These carpets truly are works of art. Tibetan weaving dates back for hundreds of years. Many of the steps shown are very similar to the original weavings. The rugs we call Tibetan are actually woven in Nepal. First started by the Tibetan refugee who fled Tibet during the massacre by Mao's followers to communism. The wool used today are still raised in Tibet and we must give credit to the sheep whose wools are the best in the world. The cold climate accelerates the fiber length and density, which in turn gives us an incredible performance and a gorgeous finish. After shearing, the wools are washed in natural streams to help clean and remove debris. Next, the cleaned wools are separated and air dried before going to be separated even further. Next, they are hand carded. Carding straightens the fibers which allows the wools to be hand spun. Hand spinning is where all the irregularities occur in the yarn, being tighter and looser depending on the pressure by the spinner. This is a desired effect. It allows the wools when dyed to accept the dye irregularities producing color change. This gives a unique depth to the color. Designs are where you see modern technology, using cards to change designs and color quickly. However, the loom drawings are still painted by hand. Each square on the grid is one knot. The dye masters are revered and his accuracy makes sure your colors are the same from carpet to carpet. Tibetan weaving is truly unique from other oriental rugs because the knots are wrapped around a rod before being sheared. The weftings go over the top of the knots and are pounded into place holding the rug together. Then the steps are repeated over and over till completion. The washing process is where the finish is finally honed. This produces the shine and velvet feel we love to see and touch. Finally, a final shearing and inspection. Then it's ready to ship.